welcome back. Yesterday we built this forge, but there was one problem with it, which is that it doesn't quite get hot enough. It gets to orange hot, but I want something closer to yellow hot. If you want to get something hot, you need insulation. That's why we covered this entire tube in plaster and perlite. But there's a giant hole in it where all the heat can escape. But I do have a solution for this giant hole, and that is concrete or cement. I don't know what the difference is, honestly. But yeah, this is some stuff we had laying around. It's just old concrete, cement. I also noticed another problem, which was when I turned up the propane, I would get giant flames coming out the end, basically meaning that the propane was burning outside the forge instead of inside, meaning I wasn't saving that heat. So the best way I can think to solve this problem is to force air. This is a blower. It blows air or forces air. This basically is just gonna blow a bunch of air into the forge giving it more oxygen, allowing it to burn hotter. heating up. This is gonna take a few minutes. God, the thing is loud. But then I'm gonna throw a railroad spike in there, start hammering on it, uh, see how quickly it moves, how bright it gets, and then we might move on to a piece of actual spring steel. Okay, so I decided not to do spring steel next. I'm actually gonna build a new set of pliers because my current pliers are just normal pliers with extended handles that aren't the same length. They're hard to hold. So, I have this thing. It's fence post. I'm gonna cut it in half, put a tong on each end, and cross them, and hopefully have my own homemade, higher quality tongs. Okay, so that's two equal length, uh, moderately long metal pieces. Now I'm gonna light the forge, square up the ends so I can then work on them because you have to have a square profile to really consistently hit it on the anvil. Then I'm gonna loop them out, flatten the section, drill a hole, and attach them together so they can hinge, I think. I don't know, never done this before. <laughs> Ultimately, I found out that removing the insulation actually made it work better. I don't know why, I think it just opened up an exhaust port, but I'm not gonna complain, because it got a lot hotter after that. Okay, we've got two of these, they match pretty well. And if we rotate them... Actually, uh, scratch that, um... I've kind of forgotten how scissors or pliers work.
and welcome back to day three of my unofficial blacksmithing week. So far I've made a forge, started some tongs, and today we're going to finish these tongs, and then I'm going to start making a machete, because I want to have something to show for this week, and tongs are neat, and a forge is cool, but machete. I messed around with some pliers and decided on a width I liked. It turns out that minimum width I wanted was about two inches. So I put the tongs in the vise in the fully closed position and marked where two inches would be. And there we go, a pair of tongs can hold it in one hand now. Closes nice and tight, easy to move, very easy to rotate in the hand for using on the anvil. I'm pretty proud of these actually, uh, even though they're not exactly symmetrical. But anyway, now I think I'm gonna go cut off a piece of that spring.